actor or an actress can really make or break a film. But if they don't have the right props, Chuck, then what good are they, right? <laughs> props are where it's at. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Chuck Casas joins us from Crop Store, just right up the five freeway in uh, Valencia, you mentioned. Valencia, yes. California, yeah. And you take props from movies and then auction them off. We do, yes. And a lot of these items go for really high prices. Yeah. They can, they can. Some of them are, you know, only a few hundred dollars, but some can go for the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, wow. for instance, last year we sold Indiana Jones Fedora from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, went for over a half million dollars. Ooh. Whoa! Man, yeah. that okay, is so we're going to put some of our knowledge here to the test. Should we start over here? And start right there. Yeah, that's uh, from Marvel's Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, it's a piece of his costume. You may uh, recognize Matt for Murdock's sure. signature helmet here. Okay. Uh, you know, this was worn by the principal actor here. Uh, great, you can see the red lenses and all that. But and I know we've got yeah. some video of the Daredevil uh, series, and what a great series too, by the way. But and great costumes, great props, and everything. And the value of these afterwards is just astronomical. Hence the white glove treatment here. We don't want to be touching yeah. these things because there's some significant. You don't want value. to leave your fingerprints on no, no, uh, where no, the no. actors were. No uh, smudges. Were there. Okay, so I have my guess written down on the right board. Eric is putting his guess on how much this could potentially be worth. You ready? A big reveal. I say oh, 3000 you thought more than I did. What'd you th and the what answer is... What are you thinking, is? Chuck? Uh, well, Heather is... Uh, Heather is probably closer to the actual value. We value this at six to eight thousand dollars. Six to eight thousand yeah. bucks. Yeah. Wow. For a just, just for the mask. Helmet. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, hence All the right. gloves. Then now I get it. All right. All right. All right. All What's right. next? Okay. What is well, this? Well, we have another piece of uh, of uh, Daredevil's signature costume. These are his Chucks. billy clubs. Oh, billy, billy clubs. clubs okay. So he would throw these at his yeah. enemies, and they would come back. This one's got a string attached to it, but it was actually, uh, again, a little bit of television uh, magic here. Okay. Um, but this uh, this is also part of the costume. Very cool. You can pull these out. You can play with them. So a little bit more mobile. Considering okay. I was so far off the last time, I'm just going to stick with 2000 this time, and maybe I'll, I'll make it right this time. Okay. All right, what's Heather say? $8,000. No 8, way. If the mask's worth 8000 come on. Well, I have to say, in this case, Eric's more correct. Yeah. 2,500 to 3,500. Oh, I was still low. Okay. So, wow. Okay. Still okay. a little bit low, but that's all right. Now, does any of these actors ever want this stuff back because it has significant meaning to them? Do I think sometimes they do. Sometimes they do, and they do have multiples of this. So, for sure. instance, this version has a string. There is a version without it. There's a metal version of that. So there are multiple versions, and they can have more than one. Okay. But you put the whole costume together. What do you think the value of Daredevil's or Daredevil's costume altogether might be? Eight thousand, two thousand. I'm gonna say twenty thousand. Twenty thousand bucks. Yeah, actually, maybe a little bit more. Wow. Really? We're estimating thirty to fifty thousand dollars, and we'll have three of his complete outfits uh, for sale in our upcoming auction. Okay. Awesome. Hey, what's next? Okay. What do you got? All right. Also from Marvel's Daredevil. This is a newspaper that was created specifically for the show. For those that uh, watch Marvel's Daredevil, it was tied into the broader uh, MC universe, which is the movies. Yes. And you'll see a certain person, a green person here that you might recognize. Sure, that's the Hulk. Which is the Hulk. That's yeah. correct. So this is an allusion to the very first Hulk movie. So this was on the walls of the New York Bulletin, which was the newspaper that was in Marvel's Daredevil and part of the universe. Uh, but it showed the Hulk. So what do you think this newspaper I, cover was? I saw the clip that showed this it wasn't the only one that was up there there were several that were featured on the wall so i think that brings the value down a little bit i'm gonna go a thousand bucks i say two okay in this case i would say eric you're right in the middle we okay. estimate this one to be 800 to 1200 dollars. okay oh, okay but you know it's the only one of this that there is okay so, all right it's pretty unique yeah okay so now what is this the yellow the yellow guy. Well, I'll give you a little hint. If you yes. look at my shirt, you sure. might actually recognize it. Oh, hey! This Iron is from Fist. Marvel's Iron Fist. Iron Fist, okay. Yeah, so this is Iron Fist's signature mask. Uh, it ties right into the comic books here. It was introduced in season two. Okay. And you see a little even blood stain. I was going to see that. Yeah, there was up in there. Well, this was a fight to get the Iron Fist. He fought his uh, nemesis, Davos. Okay. And really, so. is that just makeup stain? That is. Yeah, yeah. I, was gonna say, say. I was wearing the white gloves. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, we didn't have a problem backstage. Yeah. Right. A trip and fall. We don't want okay. that. This is a signature mask. We also will have a full costume in there as well. Uh, but this is Marvel. Uh, this is from Marvel's Iron Fist. What do you think the value of the, just the mask is? Considering the mask over there was eight thousand, this has some details to it. Six. I went so high. Heather, you got three thousand. Eric went six thousand. All right. In this case. 
Heather, okay. you're closer. We okay. actually estimate this one at two to three thousand oh, just for the mask, great. three to five thousand for the full costume. It must be because it's cloth. Heather, you got yeah. me on that. <laughs> All right, last you but not least, smarty pants over we're... there. All right, so I, you see... I don't want to face death. Eric. Yeah, yeah exactly. Death. This last one, it's got some money in it, yeah, so okay, that might so... add to the value. <laughs> it's at least worth five. It's at least worth five. Take that. A little bit of movie money in there, but this is from Marvel's Luke Cage, and those folks might recognize this as the swear jar. So there's a little bit of money in there. So there must have been a little bit of swearing going on. We're not going to give any examples of, w of how you have Not on air no, today. No. but have the bleep uh, button ready, boys? <laughs> just in case. But, okay. but folks that watch the show will know that this was in Pop's Barbershop. Right. And anytime anybody said anything bad, they had to put money in the swear jar. And Luke Cage took this throughout the series. So played a big uh, role. I'm going to say a thousand plus five dollars so a thousand five dollars I'm, I'm one up on her i know she i'm one up is, all is. right in this case the five dollars made a difference yes 1500 to 2500 for the for swear, swear jar. jar i knew it yeah hey yeah. don't hey, be a be sore loser no don't swearing from you otherwise you got to put your cash in oh here. my goodness how did i lose this oh so people want more information about this where they can buy movie props where did they go yes yeah. go to propstore.com uh we everybody can get uh, access to us we or will be doing bidding for this particular auction, which is the Marvel Television Live auction from August 12th and 13th. That's when the live auction occurs, but you can bid today at PropStore.com slash Marvel. And then you can go to PropStore.com. We have other auctions that are going on, including our signature auction, which will have items in the $100,000 range. We've got Marty McFly's uh, classic shoes from Back to the Future. We've got a R2 droid coming from uh, Rogue One. Wow. We've wow, got some other, you know, other great Star Wars props, a Ghostbusters trap. Um, go to PropStore.com and you can see all our auctions there. Fantastic. By the way, just wanted to leave one oh, more oh, little yours memo. Oh, yours says Eric cheated. Yeah. Mine yeah. says Heather. See Grim Reaper. <laughs> no. So there Cheater. you have it. Cheater. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. <laughs>